Hi everybody, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf. Today we're going to be talking everything lips, how to make them look bigger, plumper, fuller and more moisturised in six easy steps. I have never been gifted naturally in the lip department. My lips are pretty sad. They're very thin, very flat and as I get older I'm losing quite a lot of lip pigmentation on my top lip which makes that look even smaller than it actually should be and also gravity takes effect as you get older your top lip starts to sag a little which makes it look even smaller still so if you are interested in finding out how I go from this to this in six easy steps then please keep watching Okay, so let's just go through the items that you're going to need to recreate this look. The brands that I'm using today are not important in the slightest. You don't need to go out and buy specific products. You can use what you have to hand and you can recreate this look using drugstore or high-end products, whatever is your budget. But these are what you're gonna need. So you're gonna need a toothbrush with quite soft bristles. You're also going to need a lip moisturizer if you have dry lips like me. My lips are incredibly dry. You don't actually need any brushes at all to recreate this look, but I am going to use brushes today because I think you just get a bit of a cleaner look and it's not as messy. And if you are regular to my channel, you know I don't like mess. So I'm going to be using the 142 Concealer Brush by Zoeva, the 230 Lux Pencil Brush by Zoeva, and a couple of lip brushes as well. You are also going to need either an eyeshadow or a contour palette. This just is one from Revolution. I think it only cost eight pounds, so it's really quite cheap. But you can use an eyeshadow for a contour if you don't have a contour palette. That is absolutely fine. The really important part, these next couple of items, you're gonna need two lip pencils. The first lip pencil needs to be one to two shades darker than your natural lip color, and the second one needs to be one to two shades darker than the first shade. The second shade also needs to be quite cool toned because we're gonna use this also as a contour, and contours aren't generally warm. You're also going to need a high coverage matte concealer, any will do and also a highlighting pencil or a highlighting powder. Again, any will do, but I'm gonna be using the Brow Contour Pro because it comes in pen format and I find that it's really, really easy to use. You can get these sorts of highlighting pencils from e.l.f. or also Rimmel or Maybelline or L'Oreal for a lot cheaper than this one, so don't feel like you need to go out and buy this just for this look. You're gonna need a lipstick, of course, and you're gonna need a lip gloss. Okay, so step one is all about prepping the lips and that is where your soft bristled toothbrush will come into play. We're just gonna rub this toothbrush all over the lips. Don't apply too much pressure. This is just going to exfoliate the lips slightly and also bring all the blood to the surface which will naturally plump up your lips anyway and define the shape of them which will help you a little bit later on. So we're just gonna do that. And then if your lips are as dry as mine, I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of moisturizing stick just in the center of my lips and just dab that in. Okay, step two is all about priming the lips. We have to get rid of the natural outline of our lip in order to be able to create a new lip line that makes our lips look fuller. And to do this, we need to use a high coverage concealer that is matte. Very, very important that it's matte. Now I'm gonna be using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer because this is a great concealer and it's also one that I have to hand so I don't have to go out and buy a specific product. This is a great concealer, you get nine mils, 18 pounds 50 in the UK, $24 in the US. I highly recommend it, but again, don't go out and buy something just for this particular look. I'm gonna put it on my concealer brush and I'm just gonna go all the way around the edge of the lip line to try and conceal the natural lip line. Okay. 
Okay, so I've just feathered in the concealer that I've applied to my lips and made sure that there are no harsh edges and it's blended beautifully with all the foundation that I applied a little bit earlier on. And now we are ready for step three. So step three is all about contouring and creating a new lip line by overlining your lips by the tiniest amount. You only have to overline by the most minuscule amount to make your lips look a lot fuller, a lot bigger and a lot plumper if you use a contouring technique rather than just a plain overlining technique. This is so easy to get wrong if you are just overlining with the same colour all the way around your lips and I've seen it done so badly so many times on myself as well. I am a repeat offender of this. I have done this wrong so many times, but I think once you understand contouring, you get it right and you get it right very, very quickly. It's really quite important that you know a little bit of background on the reasons why we contour and the reasons why we highlight and the effects that that has on the feature that you are contouring or highlighting. If you understand these particular effects, it's going to be a lot easier for you to adapt this routine to your individual needs. So let me just run through a little bit of background. Contouring. If you add a dark shade to anything that goes in, you are going to make it look deeper or smaller. If you add a bright shade, a sparkly shade, or a lighter shade to an area, you are highlighting it, you are pushing it forward, and you are making it look bigger. This is really, really important knowledge to know so that you understand why we are actually doing what we are doing to the lips and why it actually works. So I'm gonna be taking the lightest lip liner that is one to two shades darker than your natural lip color. The one that I've chosen today is by Charlotte Tilbury. This is 16 pounds in the UK, $22 in the US, and it's in the shade Iconic Nude. And I am going to overline the top lip line. And when I say overline, I am going to go less than a millimeter above the natural lip line. And I first create a little V. And I'm gonna use a really, really light hand. Now a lot of YouTubers will say just to do the top and then join it up as you get down to the bottom. I have quite a tall lip, but it's very, very thin and very angular. So there's a little bit here and then nothing here. So I like to go a little bit over on the sides. That's not for everybody. This is trial and error. You are going to make mistakes. It's all about practice and what you think looks good on your lips. This is what works for me. There's no speed limit to this. You can go as slow as you want and you can take as many attempts as you need to get this right. So once you've overlined all of the top lip by the tiniest amount and not gone too far over the natural lip line, we're going to do the edges of the bottom lip. So once you've done the outline of your lips, you're gonna take the biggest lip brush that you've got and just make sure that that's feathered in. Again, you can use your finger with this, but it can be slightly messy and not as accurate. So I'm just going to pull that in to the middle of the lip to make sure it's not just a line. So once you're happy with the overall look of your new lip line and it looks as natural as physically possible, we're going to ramp up the contouring a little bit more. You're gonna take your second lip liner, which is two shades darker, more or less, than the first lip liner that you used. So this is your contouring shade. We're going to create shadows with this to make our lips look like they are more pushed forward, fuller and bigger. So I'm gonna take the shade Love Trap. This is another one by Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm gonna place it right underneath my bottom lip.
Okay, so as you've just seen, I applied the second lip liner directly over the top of the first lip liner. Because this one's slightly darker, it looks like it creates a shadow. And because of the shadow, it makes it seem like the body of the lip itself is much fuller and plumper, and that is what is creating the shadow underneath. It's all smoke and mirrors, but a tiny, tiny little bit of lip liner actually has quite a large effect. Now we are gonna use this product again, and we're just gonna create lines to make it look like the lips are fuller. So I'm gonna go down the center, and I'm gonna go to the side, and again on the other side, I'll do the same on the bottom. So you're just going to apply the lines where your lips would naturally wrinkle when you're making a pouty face. So definitely down the middle and to the side, just makes your lips look a little bit fuller. Now I'm not saying that this is a procedure that you're gonna be doing every single day because it's quite long-winded, but if you are going out for the evening and you really do want to look like you've got seriously full lips, then this is a step that you can follow. But again, you can miss this one out if you don't particularly want to spend that much time on your lips. And I'm gonna take my brush that I use to feather the outer liner and I'm just gonna feather that in my lips a little bit. And there we go. Now obviously you're not gonna leave your lips looking like this because they look ridiculous, but it will all fall into place as we do all the other steps as well. So the last stage of step three is just by taking your contouring palette or your contouring eyeshadow, we're gonna take a small brush or you can use your finger if you want. I'm gonna go into the lightest shade and I'm just gonna dust that underneath the lip line. This will create a shadow, giving the impression that the bottom lip is a lot fuller and further forward and creating that shadow underneath. So I'm just gonna go here. So you hardly apply any product whatsoever. It's extremely subtle because if you apply too much, it's just going to look like you've got some dirt underneath your lip, which is never a good look. People are gonna be pointing it out to you all day and that's not what you want. So just really, really subtle and it does give quite a big effect even though you're only applying the tiniest amount. So that's step three, the contouring portion of this video over and done with. We're now gonna move on to the highlighting portion which is step four. This is really, really important because if you go out of the house with no lipstick on whatsoever, your natural lip line will create shadows but it will also create highlights throughout the day. Now my top lip is slightly embossed. It protrudes forward the tiniest bit. When the sun hits that, there is a natural highlight that shows up on the ridge that is above my lip line. And because I've covered that up with concealer today and overlined them, I need to reapply that highlight to make it look more natural. This is where your highlighting pencil comes in. So this is the Brow Contour Pro by Benefits, £28.50 in the UK, $34 in the US. If you don't already own this, please don't go out and buy it just for this one step because it is super expensive if you're doing it that way and there are so many more cheaper alternatives out on the market that will do the job just as well. So just get any highlighter pencil or even a highlighter powder will do the job just as well. It's just a little bit less precise. So I'm gonna take the highlighter pen on the Brow Contour Pro and I'm just gonna go directly above where we put the first liner on the top lip. It's really, really important that we reintroduce that highlight to make it look more natural. I'm 
I'm also going to take my highlighting pen and just go up where the cupid's bow is just to make that look a little bit more push forward. Just a couple of lines down there will do the trick. And just blend that out with your finger. Again, you can do this with powder if that's what you choose to do. So that now gives the impression that the top lip is a lot further forward. So it will give the impression that the top lip is also a lot fuller. Okay, so step five is all about the lipstick. We are finally going to get some lipstick on the lips. And to avoid going over the contour lines that we've created on the lip, I'm gonna use a lip brush. If you skipped that stage so you don't have any lines on the actual body of your lip, you can apply your lipstick straight from the tube if that's what you prefer. The lipstick that I'm gonna use today is from the Matte Revolution range from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the shade Pillow Talk, which is her universal shade. She says this suits absolutely everybody. It's 24 pounds in the UK, $34 in the US, and it's such a beautiful shade. Now I always recommend that you use a matte lipstick because matte lipsticks hide a lot of stuff. And because we've overlined the top lip and the bottom lip, you don't want the overlining to become really, really obvious. So matte lipsticks will hide that, whereas pearlescent or shiny lipsticks will actually highlight that you've overlined your lips. So I always recommend that you use a matte lipstick. So I'm just gonna go over the contour lines that we drew on the lips earlier on because I just want to blend them in a little bit and make them seem a little bit less obvious. We don't wanna use too much product because we still want them to be visible, but not to this extent. So that is the end of step five. So moving on to step six, you can skip this step altogether if you just want a matte look. And sometimes I do just want a matte look, so I will leave it at this, which is far better than what we started with. But if you wanna judge this up just slightly, there is nothing that makes your lips look bigger than a little bit of gloss. Now when I'm applying the gloss, I only apply it to the center of my lip. And the reason I do this is because I don't want to get it anywhere near where my natural lip line is because that will draw attention to my natural lip line and make it obvious that I've overlined. So I just want to stick to the center of my lips which will make it look like my center of my lip is pushed forward and my lips are fuller. So I'm just gonna take a really cheap lip gloss. It doesn't have to be expensive. And just apply it right in the center. Just like that. And it just gives the impression that the lips are far fuller than they actually are. So this is the finished look. So a lot more fuller and plumper than we started off with. And yet my lips are still the same size underneath all the smoke and mirrors. So I really hope you found this video helpful. I hope you found it easy to follow and I've not rambled on too much and made it seem more complicated than it actually is. All these six steps, if I'm going out for the evening, usually take me about five minutes to complete the whole look. But obviously I've been talking throughout and explaining things as we've gone on. So this video is a lot longer than five minutes. Sorry about that but I hope you found it helpful anyway. Please don't forget I am also on Instagram, so if you'd like to follow me on there and have an insight into what's coming up in the future and what I get up to with my family on a daily basis, then please follow me on there as well. It's Pampered Wolf, all lowercase, no spaces. Don't forget to also subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, there is a watermark in this corner. If you click on it, it will take you through to my homepage where you can subscribe. Hope to see you all again soon, bye.